of Sun Lakes, Arizona. And these grannies don't bait no pies. Exercise for life. I'm Blanche, 67, 10 grandchildren. Adrian, 59, three grandchildren. Arlene, 66, two grandchildren. Bernie, 60, three grandchildren. Mart, 64, five grandchildren. Laverne, 65, three grandchildren. Ginny, 68, two grandchildren. Pat, 55, eight grandchildren. Patty, 60, seven grandchildren. Beverly, 55, three grandchildren. Hello, I'm Beverly. I'm a wellness and exercise instructor for the mature person. Tell me, do you feel mature? Exercise is more than doing a certain amount of arm circles and leg lifts. Exercise is knowing how to hold your body and to use it efficiently, for your body talks. Let me show you. Hello. 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 What is your body saying to people? And more than what your body is saying, and more than how you look, it's how you feel. Come on, get up. Experiment with me. Put your hand on your back. Bend over a desk to get a tissue. Pull it back. Do you feel all that back action? Now, feet apart. Soften your knees. Reach across to get that tissue. But this time, make that muscle. Squeeze your buttocks. Nothing in the back, right? How about that window that's always behind the buffet? Grab it. Pull it open. Do you feel all that back action? Now, open your feet. Soften your knees. Grab that same window, but this time make that muscle. Tighten your buttocks all the way. Tighten that buttocks, tighten that buttocks. Life is changing rapidly. A strong, flexible, well-balanced body is going to help you find excitement in that change. You are not a tree trunk. A little tilt should not cause you to fall over. Let's become aware of our bodies. Let's stretch. Feet together. Bend your knees. Keep them soft, but keep your body up. Every time you tilt forward, you're growing a turkey gobbler skin. Roll your palms up. Stay out of your shoulders. Lift them up. Now bring your hip to the side as this arm sweeps up and roll the wrist. Don't move your shoulder. Slide it across. All good things come from above. Way across. Can you feel the opening in the ribs? Now just roll the wrist. Reach it across. Stretch it across. Release. Other side. Roll the wrist up. Become acquainted with your wrists. Sweep the hip to the side. Bring the hand up. Roll it up. Get everything you're meant to have in this life. Reach across, roll the wrist, reach a little further, and sweep it down. Hands on your thighs, lift that foot, maybe one inch, balance. We need to work on balance. Come back, never put a kink in the neck, shuts off the blood supply to the brain. So look down, raise that toe up, slide your buttocks back, now. Here comes a stretch. Slide your butt up, 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 up. Feel the stretch all along the back of that hamstring. Use your tummy to lower that foot. Use your tummy to bring your body up. And now step that back foot back a little further. Sweep that arm down. Lower that heel. Reach. Release. Now you're going to work balance. Touch. Lift. Bring across. Feel it diagonally across the back. Hand down. Now use your tummy. Use your buttocks. Other foot. Back. No kink in the neck. Hand on your thighs. Lift that toe. Slide your buttocks back. Now slide it up. Slide it up. Slide it up. Slide it up. Use your tummy to lower that foot. Use your tummy to bring your body up. Step back. Sweep this arm down. Long body. Elegant. 
power. Release that heel. Touch your shoulder. Bring that elbow up. Bring it across. Release. Feet together. Now grab the invisible rings. Just as you fluff your pillows every day, open your vertebrae. There are pillows in between each vertebrae. Now bring your buttocks forward. Hang, hang, feel it, open it. Now let go. Roll your palms up and reach forward. And now I'm going to show you how relaxation of the muscles will stretch them. We'll go to our chairs. And now I'm going to show you stretch on a chair. I want to teach you how relaxation can lengthen and stretch your muscles. Float your body. Float your head to the side. Float. Float. Now let your chin float down to your collarbone. Don't lift it, don't pull it, float it. Bring it up. Softly float it across. Floating. Float down to your collarbone. Float it up. Come back to center. Now we're going to experiment. Hang your arms down. Float your body to the side. And look on the wall and find a spot that's called your range of motion. Bring your body to the front. And now to the other side. See your range of motion. Find a spot. Come back to center. Now close your eyes. Listen to my words. Go to the first side, hold your shoulders there, let your head float back to center. And now float your shoulders to center. Go to the opposite side, hold your shoulders, let your head float to center. Float your shoulders to center. Opposite side. Now leave your face there as your shoulders float back to center. And now your head floats to center. Go to the opposite side. Hold it. Leave your face. Let your shoulders float to center. And now your head floats. Relax. Go to the first side. Let your face come back to center, and now your body. And go to the other side. Hold, let your face come back to center, and now your body. Relax, bring your body to the side, and come back to center. And now the other side. Relax, come back to center. Go to the very first side. Relax, now open your eyes. Do you see your range of motion? Close your eyes, come back to center. When you get yourself out of the way, go to the opposite side, open your eyes. See your range of motion. Close your eyes. Come back to center. Open your eyes. Feet open. Hand on your thighs. Roll them out. Bring your one shoulder forward. Release. Bring your other shoulder forward. Always open the vertebrae. Tighten your tummy. Bring your feet together. Palms up. Come up, now reach forward, pull forward, release. Get your balloons or balls ready, get ready to do aerobics. We're going to start our aerobic segment. First, let's take our pulse next to your Adam's apple under your chin. 
For fat melts at a certain temperature. It's like your bacon. It likes to cook long and slow. You want to have that temperature just right. Check your chart. Start with the zero, get ready, count the beats, go. Stop. Hold that number. I take it for six seconds, so you just have to add a zero to it. Now, when we're doing this dance, I don't want you to do hump and lump. It's lifting, carrying with your arms, not your shoulder. No more, In, no more, up, no more, reach. Now, do you see how we have yes, that sir. leg rolled no out? More, you see that buttocks? Sweep this ball. Now feet open, figure eight. Sit back in your heels. You'll feel your waistline. Short and choppy. Use your arms. Waistline. Good. Try the other side. Squeeze. Lift. Stretch. Use your buttocks. Muscle. Use your arms. Get your rib cage off your hips. Now feet apart, figure eight. Sit back and down, using your waistline. Short and choppy. Other side. Now you should be feeling your pulse rate come up if you're doing this correctly. Really stretch that body, push that buttocks forward. Lift with your arms, not your shoulder, figure eight. Sitting back, feel that in that waistline. Short and choppy. Other side. Here we go, in. You know we all touch one another. Your thoughts touch people. Now you look at them with your eyes. Alters their life. Sit back. Think sweetly. Think positive. Short and choppy. Make a difference for the good. Other side. Lift. Take the bend out of those arms. Lift. Figure eight. Sit back. That way you don't lose your knees. Short and choppy. Other side. In. This one's gonna bring it up a little more. We're gonna have a little fun now. Coordination, very important. Put the ball between your legs. Do you know when someone has a stroke, one of the first things they put them into is physical therapy. For coordination, pushes that blood up into the brain. Now, well, forward, time ago, slide, back, I met the woman and hold. It was forward. Like Side. You know you look a little funny. Back. Oh, did you say so do we? Forward. Side. Know what you Side. Got when you got Back. Appreciate it till and hold. Again. Forward. Side. Back. I just like to tell you and hold. Now take that ball. Walk your feet. Roll it around you. Flexibility, well, dexterity, you coordination. Important. Keeps us young, vital. Now hold that ball and bounce it. Body up. Try the other side. Sometimes you don't know what you got when you got it. And you can't appreciate it. 
appreciate it till it's gone, so don't do that. Get your feet ready. Now, forward. That way. Try it again. Side. Forward. That way, gang. Forward. That way. Now, roll that ball around your body. Now, if you're getting out of breath, slow your feet down. Okay? We're going to work hard. Now, hold that ball and bounce it. Try the other leg. Sometimes you don't know what you got when you got it. And you can't appreciate it till it's gone. Oh, don't do that. Now, take that ball. Get your body ready. Put it behind your head. Hands out. Fingers open. Life's not going to leave you on two feet facing forward. No, sir. Try the other leg. How are they doing? Arms open. Fingers open. Sometimes you don't yes, it's a little you tricky. Got when you got it. Yeah, Betty. Told you, you little bunny. Forward. That way. Again. Forward. Now, pick up the speed real fast. Forward. Yeah. Used to get after your kids for making noise like that? <laughs> get ready for your next number. Okay, and this one, I want you to tighten your tummy, walk your feet on out, and walk them in. And do it again, walk them out. I'm going to show you how you can keep your pulse rate up. Sitting down, in. Now add the ball, slide it out, bring it in. Now get that body up. You know, this makes a turkey gobbler. Get it out. Now, bounce your heels, carry the ball up with your arms, not your shoulders. Go to the side, around. That ball is right overhead, not in front of your nose. Tell me, how long would you work for someone who talked bad about you or to you? And yet you do that for your body all the time. Go the other way. Start encouraging your body. Be uplifting. Bring it down. Look at those cute little legs. Under your arm, hand, roll it out. Now bounce your feet. Bring your arm across. Feel that diagonally across your back. Bring it across. Bounce it back. And the bouncing of your feet keeps your pulse rate up. You get more out of an exercise when your pulse rate is up. One more time. Now go back to walking. Walk them out. Walk them in. Use your tummy. Walk them out. And walk them in. Get that body up. Next side. Next time you talk bad about your body, you catch yourself. Tell it how cute it is. How strong. Bring it in. Bounce your heels. You used to do that when your kids were little. Round it. Get the body up. Go the other way. Feel that rib cage, waistline. One more time around. Now carry it down with your arms. Put it under the other arm. Hand on your thigh. Roll it in. Bounce your feet. Use your tummy. Bring your arm across. And down. Across. One more time. One more time. <laughs> you got it. I'm going to show you how to keep up your pulse rate, work your tummy, and not have your neck bothered at all between your legs. Hang on, roll your back, protect your spine at all times. Remember those little pillows in between your vertebrae? Feet side, other side, now press your back to the floor. Feel those obliques. If you put your hands there, you'll feel those muscles working. Yet your neck is protected. Keep it going. Side, 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 side. Now hold it there in the middle. Draw a circle. Hold it. 
Draw a circle. Hold it. Keep your back to the floor. Circle. Hold it. One more time. Now hold it. Bring your feet side. Other side. 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 Keep it going. Feel that waistline. Feel that tummy. Now hold it. Put your feet in the center. Draw a circle. Hold it. Draw another circle. Hold it. Circle. Hold it. One more time. Now hold your feet there. Bring them up. Bring them down. Bring them up. Now only to halfway. Up. Hold it. One last time. Hold it. Now from here, we'll go down. Then bring them halfway. Down. Halfway. Keep your back pressed to the floor. Open your fingers. Press your hands into the floor. Down. Up. Down. Up. One more time. Take that balloon. Put it between your feet. Flatten them. Add one hand. Now add the other. Down. Up. Down. Up. You'll notice our feet are straight up. So are our arms. Pulse rate is still up, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Hang on to that ball. Now fast. Up, 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 up. Now this is too fast. You keep the first beat. Take that ball between your knees. Hands on the floor, elbows bent. Bring feet to the side, then the other. One side. Then the other, side, side, side. Oh, feel that waistline. Keep your back pressed to the floor. And hold them there. Roll on your side. Press up into the floor. Go of your ball. Pulse rate. Ready? Go. Stop. Add a zero to that. We're going to do a little dance number now. Forward, step, side, step, back, step. One, two, three. Then we'll do it on the other foot. Side, step, back, step. One, two, three. Other foot, forward, side. You're going to feel so smart when you get this. One, two, three. Forward. Now bring your arms up. Back. your tummy and push away. Eight. Now push away. Use your tummy. Push that table away. Eight. After you've eaten. Step and push. Use your tummy. Eight. Relax your shoulders. No turkey gobbler. Get that head up. Now that fancy footwork. Relax your hips. Fingers want to dance, too. Body up. Soften those knees. Forward, side, back. One, two, three. Eight to the side. You've got a certain smile. Yeah. 
that eight to the side. Step to the push. Tighten that tummy to lift that leg. Eight. Step and push. Eight. Step and push. Use your tummy. Last time. Step and push. Oh, yeah. And now, get your bean bags for the next one. Walking, one of the best things you can do for your body. You want about 20 minutes every day, working your arms vigorously, but you want your body up. You don't want this, pulling the skin, making your own turkey gobbler. Oh, no. Now, girl, do you know what to do? They do. You gotta eat right, put on your walking shoes. Face front, step, out, step. Now add your arms across, palm down, palm in. Now, feet apart, called a bicep curl. Now, we're using pinto beans, split peas, a little bit of macaroni. Use any weight you want. Now, make a muscle. Squeeze that muscle, called a bicep curl. But you must keep your body up. Start off with half pound bags. We're using two. These gals are tough. Get out of bed. Face front. Now keep your knees bent, body up, add your arms. Keep this arm flexed. Make those muscles. Feet together, make that bicep curl. Walking, gonna develop your cardiovascular system. Strengthens the buttocks and the hamstring muscles. Face this way. Now get your feet open, come down. Coming up. Now you girls, you sure you know what to do. They do. You got to eat right. Put on your walking shoes. Now, audience, have you learned a thing or two? Then say it with us. You got to eat right. Put on your walking shoes. Face. Front, step, out, step, out, add arms. Keep your body up. Now, feet apart. Make that muscle, squeeze it up, bicep curl. Start off with half a pound, work up. Now face this side, and up, come on down. Now whoa, going off. Get your pillows ready. Going to take our pulse, get ready, dart with a zero, go. Stop. Check that chart. Make sure you're melting your fat. You get it too high, it's no good. It's too low, you're not cooking. Round that back, 
roll on down. Tighten your tummy, slide your feet in. Put your hands behind your head. Bring your elbows to the floor. Feel your diaphragm open. Release, blow air out. Push your elbows to the floor. Feel your diaphragm open. Push it out. Release your elbows. Now relax your elbows. Push your back to the floor. Do you know that this in itself is a tummy exercise? If you felt your tummy, it'd be tight. Release it. It strengthens your back, tightens your tummy. It's a nice exercise to do. Release. Now let both knees go to the side. Roll on your side. Put your hand into the floor. The earth was made for you. Now take that pillow, put it right under your hip. Knees bent, hand on the floor. Make that muscle, lower your body. This is a nice thing to know. You get laid up in bed, you want to know how to lift your body without using your neck or your tummy. Make that arm muscle. Feel that waistline. Last time. Now this time when you lower it down, stretch your legs, roll over. Now you won't be able to see me, but listen to my words. Bent elbow on the other hip. Knees bent. Push up. Lower down. Now don't use your shoulder, use that arm. Push up. Lower down. Push up. Lower down. Make that tricep muscle. Push up. Lower down. Last time, push up. Lower down. Now you'll notice that arm is bent. Roll on your tummy. Slide that pillow right under your pubic bone. Take your other arm, fingertips to elbow. Cross your ankles. Now resist. Push down on the top leg, up on the bottom leg. Push. And now going down, resist. Push up on the bottom leg, down on the top. Now once you get the idea, you want to rest your forehead. You don't want to kink up those vertebrae ever. This shuts off your blood supply. So lower your forehead. Now press up. You could turn it sideways to watch me. Press down. Press up. Press down. Now when you press up, you'll notice that buttocks tightens, top of the buttocks, hamstrings are tight, down. Press up. Press down. Now to make this harder, press up. Let your knees come off the floor. Press down. Press up. Press down. Now leave your feet down, open them out. Leave your feet on the floor. Press your hips into that pillow. Release. Press your hips into that pillow. And that is stretching out the lower back muscles and strengthening them. Release. Now this time, cross your other foot under. Take your arm closest to you. Place it on the outside, stretching your tummy and your back. Now resist up. Lower your head. Resist down. Press up. Press down. To make it hard, take your knees off the floor. Press up. Now flatten your feet. Press down, and that makes it harder. Press up. Press down. Resist. Up. Down. Up. Down. One more time. Up. Down, release, relax the feet, open them out, press your hips into the floor, release. Press your hips into the floor, release. Take your inner arm, put it on the outside. Put the other ankle in front, press up. Press down. Press coming up. Resist. 
Press. Press. Push down. Press. Press. Now leave them down. Open your feet. Push your hips into that pillow. Release. One more time. Push your hips into that pillow. Release. And now we're going to do a cool down. Let me show you how to turn the body over. Take your arm away from me, stretch it long. Lay your ear on that arm, roll your body over. We're going to do our cool down now, relaxing the body. You can use a pillow or not, as suits you, but keep your knees bent. Now put your hands under your head, and gently bring your elbows to the floor. Release. And bring your elbows to the floor. Release. Now press your back into the floor. Release. And press your back into the floor. Release. Take your arms long behind you. Palms up. Take everything life has for you. Stretch them long. Keep your back pressed to the floor. Press it to the floor and bring your arms up. Long. And let them go gently by your side. Press your back to the floor. Bring your knees over your body. Now close your eyes and let me talk you through relaxation. Gently rotate your knees and notice the sensation in your lower back. Go slow. Massage your lower back. And now hold those knees quiet. Bring your knees two inches to the right and let your head go two inches to the left. And now slow, reverse that. Gently massaging your spine. Now relax your jaw. Relax the roof of your mouth. Let the skin slide down on your face. And now, tighten your tummy, put your feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in, blow it out. Take the fingers on your one hand and bring them up. Float, float. Find that spot when that arm is straight up, it'll support itself. Relax your jaw. And now float the arm behind you. Float. Keep the skin on your face soft. Plop. Sweep the arm out around. Roll your palm down. Plop. Let your fingers float up on the opposite hand. Float them up. Find that spot to where your arm supports itself. Relax your jaw. Let your hands float to the back. Pluck. Sweep the arm out around. Rolls over, plop. Keep your lips fluffy. Roll your palms up. Slide them out a little ways. Now gently lower your knees to one side. 
Relax your chest. You are wonderfully made, unique, special, no one like you. Love your body. Release your body. Why don't you just lie there as the grannies and I would like to say goodbye. You know, you don't have to be good to start, but you have to start to be any good. Grannies and I would like to leave you with this thought. You're, you're not, not where you should be, but you're, you're not where you used to be. You're on your way, so you're okay. As a little girl, I saw my mother stretch. She was a dancer. She performed with Eddie Cantor and Georgie Jessel. I exercised to keep flexible. I was diagnosed at the age of 14 as having arthritis. And after having upper back surgery just a few years ago, exercise helps to keep me strong and flexible. Oh, flexible. I still remember the day about eight years ago when I tried to turn my head around and discovered it would not go. I joined my first aerobic class and later I added a weightlifting class and I started towards the size four I wear today from a size 16. I also had to learn it was not only how much I ate, but what I ate that helped. These older bodies have special problems and needs, and when they're met, we can move and look 20 years younger, and these are the principles I'm teaching. Oh, my first trip to an aerobic center was a revelation. I walked in and I saw these shapely bodies. I looked at myself and I felt like a walking twig. That did it. It was exercise for me. My mom was terribly crippled by osteoporosis and I find and I know that exercise does help fight that disease. Say, Beth, do you remember about five and a half years ago when I first came to your class? I was a short, chubby, girl who was very depressed and through exercise with Bev I have taken off more than 20 pounds and many many inches and the depression that I felt has gone and I feel wonderful now. Pat, do you remember my first leotard? Yes, Bernie, I do. <laughs> it was hysterical. I went in the dressing room, I put it on when the top was covered, the bottom was out. When the bottom was covered, the top was out. But on a more serious side, I went into a deep, deep depression after my oldest son was killed, and just nothing seemed to be pulling me out. And one day, one of the grannies came up to me, and they, she said, Bernie, why don't you get into Beverly's exercise program? And I did. And the exercise not only helped me emotionally, it helped me physically. And anyone having depression, exercise is just great for it. Well, exercise is more than just a dress size for me. Although that is a nice fringe benefit, it meant life to me. In 86, I had heart bypass surgery. Being in aerobic exercise program made the big difference in my rapid recovery. Well, I was fortunate enough to be in a heart disease prevention program and I discovered it there that I was at high risk for heart problems. So I decided, well, even though I never had a weight problem, I was going to eat right, I was going to get into an exercise program. And uh, my blood pressure came down, my cholesterol came down, and now I'm at low risk. Well, when I just retired, I decided I didn't want this body to quit. So I kicked it into high gear with exercise, and it didn't quit. I went on to win a gold medal in the Arizona Senior Olympics. Oh, I'll tell you, it's so important to keep that older body moving in an exercise program to maintain good health. 
Well, I sure treasure good health, Jim, since my brain surgery two and a half years ago. I know that my increased stamina and endurance due to exercise sure helped my recovery, as well as preparing me to aerobic dance throughout our parades. And as you know, they're from two to four miles long. Awesome. Try that at 68, eh? I'm planning on it. And at 67, I'm doing the same. Five years of exercising have strengthened my lower back muscles, made me more flexible, and I've lost weight too. I feel younger and more vibrant. And being a widow, I find exercising a healthy release for my sexual energy. However, if Bert Lancaster came a courting, I might alter that last statement. <laughs> <laughs> When you're ready for your next challenge, try the Dance and Grannies Active Workout. The Active Workout is ideal for an intermediate level of exercise. Look for the Active Workout in your video store or call this number. Dancing Grannies make great gifts. Keep dancing.